This is Richard Welty from the Ghost Tracks on Open Historical Map Project. In this video, we're looking at the end of the modern strait of the Thompson 4 road course to see traces from the first three Thompson road courses. The first three courses shared the same complex at the end of the long strait. The first video clip is from position one as shown on the map. This is the modern turn one. And you see that they make a right-hand turn and continue around into uh, the modern turn two. The modern turn one and turn two are part of the current Thompson course, the fourth course, which reopened in 2014. Now, if you go back and you look at the modern turn one, you see the pavement continues a little bit further. This is part of the old turn at the end of the straightaway. This pavement was part of the first three Thompson Road courses, which operated from 1952 to uh, approximately 1978. And they passed through the modern barriers. And then you can see the old turn at the end of the straightaway. And as we walk around, we can see that it's incorporated into the modern access road. And the second turn as part of this pairing, you see is off in the distance. And we're going to, uh, drive over there and we're going to show you some interesting things visible from that point of view. The second video clip is from two on the map. So here what we can see is the old turn back down to the straightaway and if you look you see at the end of this short straightaway this of course is part of the access road today but um, back in 1952 through 56, that straightaway went through that barrier and continued along the side of the modern garages. The garages, of course, did not exist at the time. And later on, we're going to go down in there and we're going to do some video <coughs> in the area of the concession stand and the far end of the modern garages and show you parts of Thompson 1, 2, 3, and 4 that still can be traced out today. The third video clip is from 3 on the map. Now this is a little bit closer shot from here. We can clearly see how this did a straight shot along the side of the garages. Now the new bridge from 2014 and later is cutting across what once was the spot where the track went. You can see it right at the end. 